Okay, so uh, what we have here is a small cluster computer I had built a little bit ago. It's been about a week since I've had a chance to do anything with it. But um, the case of the computer, or the cluster itself, is actually an old Cisco 2950 switch. I had removed all of the components of the switch and I had to use a Dremel to file down some of these little bumps so everything would fit in it. And then for a power supply, I just have an old cheap crap Chinese uh, power supply here. It takes 110 for the inputs and it provides 5 volts for the outputs, <coughs> which goes across everything here and connects to all of the um, orange pies. We're using orange pies for the um, individual clusters here. We have six of them all the way across. And each one has its own power switch, which can be powered on and off here. We also have a master power switch which can provide power to the entire 110s on and off so when we're done with anything we can actually turn the power supply off and not leave it on all the time um, I had a piece of uh, plastic high density polyurethane or whatever that I had used and I just cut a strip of it off across and provided mounting points into the side here and then I just drilled a little holes to mount the each individual pie down to the uh, plastic on the bottom for spacers, instead of buying um, individual spacers, I had actually used a fish tubing for each one of the individual spacers. You might not really be able to see that very good, um, but each one of these is just a fish tubing underneath the uh, device all the way across. So then um, to power each one of the devices, instead of using the um, DC jack that it normally comes with, we're just plugging directly into the GPIO headers to the uh, positive and ground lines. So essentially the power comes from the power supply and then it goes into another wire which comes up to the switch which ultimately comes back and it connects to this little um, GPIO connector here. Well this little connector which plugs into the power source in order to provide the electricity that we need all the way across and actually that's the uh, wrong port to plug it in, we need to go down one. Now I've already uh, loaded the SD cards up with these, with ARM being Linux, and on the main uh, computer I've set up a VLAN specifically for each one of these. Um, my plan is to see how well they might work for a distributed cross-compiling or any form of distributed video rendering, just to play around with some forms of distributed computing and cluster computing projects. But yeah, um, 30, um, 30, not a 3550, but a 2950 case gutted. Uh, on the back I put some aluminum foil so it doesn't look very nasty, like just a bunch of holes all the way across. And uh, then when it's all put together, it just mounts in a regular rack case with its rack mount ears. On the front, I used a piece of ABS plastic. I didn't get a very good cut around these edges. I could have done a better job if I would have taken a little bit more time. But uh, it just provides access to the Ethernet port and the USB ports of each of the uh, Orange Pi units. And um, each one of these are Orange Pi 1s, so they are limited. They only have um, 512 megabytes of RAM, as opposed to some of the other models that have 1 or 2 gigs. But uh, they were pretty cheap. They're only about $10 each. 10 or $12 once you count shipping and so they'll serve as an intro to uh, any form of cluster computing. I uh, hope everybody's enjoyed this video and if you like it let me know. If you have any ideas for some projects I could do with this uh, just feel free to comment and let me know.